can we say the word is not the thing? That's clear, yes. Whatever description is not the real, is not the truth. However much you embellish or diminish it, mm-hmm. or just word is not that. R- recognizing that, then what is there beyond all this? Can my mind be so desireless, yes. so that it won't create a, an illusion, something beyond? Yes, well, then that's the question of desire. You see, that desire must be in this time process. Of course, desire is time. Yes, now that's the thing that we might try to say, say, since there are very subtle forms of desire, as well as the obvious forms. Uh, so, after all, desire, being, becoming, is based on desire. Yes, I mean, they're one and the same, really. Yes, yes, they're one and the same. Now, when one has an instinct, I hate to use that word over and over again, into that whole movement of desire and its capacity to create illusion, it's finished. Yes, well, but see, I think that perhaps we should, since this is a very crucial point, we should try to uh, say a little more about desire, you see, that uh, how it's intrinsic in this accumulating process, uh, uh, you know, and how it comes out in many ways. Uh, you know, for one thing, you could say that as you accumulate, uh, there comes a sense of something missing. Of course. I mean, you feel you should have more, you know, something to finish, complete it. Right? <laughs> Whatever you accumulate, it is not complete. So, could we? go into the question of becoming first, yeah. and then desire comes into it. Why is it that all human beings, right through the world, have this urge to become? Well, I... I uh, outwardly understand that, simply. Yeah, we have to become stronger. And so uh, physically, yeah. de- develop your muscle your and... Your language, your language, logic. Yeah. And all that. And also, better job, better more comfort, and so on, so on, so on. But why is there this seed in the human mind of one, of trying to become enlightened, let's say, use that word for the moment, trying to become more good, more uh, or better? Well, there must be a sense of dissatisfaction with what's in there already, if that's one thing. Is it dissatisfaction? Well, you know, a person feels he would like it to be complete. You see, uh, uh, suppose, for example, he has accumulated memories of pleasure, but these memories are no longer <laughs> adequate. Adequate. And he feels something more is needed. Right? Is that it? Well, to get more, that's one of the questions. I mean, and eventually, he feels that he must have the whole, the ultimate. I'm not at all sure whether the word more is not the real thought. The word more. Yeah, more. More, I will be more, I will have more, I will become... You follow this whole movement of moving forward, moving, more. gaining, way, comparing, advancing, achieving, you know, psychologically. Yeah, but see, the word more is just uh, in, implicit in the whole meaning of the word accumulate. Accumulate, of course, right? of course. So if you're accumulating, you have to be accumulating more. There's no other way to do it. <laughs> so why is there this seed in the human mind? Well, he doesn't see that this more is wrong in the, in, 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 inwardly. Now, if he started outwardly, to use the concept that of more, but then he carried it inward. Now, for some reason, he didn't see how destructive it why? was. Why? Why? Not? Why? Why have fairly intelligent philosophers and religious people who have spent their great part, great part of their great life in a, you know, mm-hmm. why haven't they seen this very simple thing? The great intellectuals and the, and the so-called evolutionary 
concept and so on, why haven't they seen the simple fact that where there is accumulation, there must be more? Yes, well, they've seen that, but they don't see any harm in it. Wait, wait, no, I'm not sure they see it. Well, no, they've seen that they're trying to get more, you see, they're saying, we're trying to get a better life. You see, during the 19th century, it was the century of progress. Of progress, I understand. Improving all the time. All right. But, but they, yeah, progress outwardly. But they felt inwardly, too, that man would be improving himself inwardly. But why haven't they ever questioned this? Well, yes, well, what would make them question it? Obviously, this constant struggle but for they, the more. Yeah, but they felt that was a sign of, that was necessary for progress, you see. Uh, but is that progress? Yeah, well, I mean, can we make it clear, you see? Suppose you had to answer one of the 19th century optimists, you know, who oh, said man is progressing all the time to be better inwardly as well as outwardly. Yes. Let us admit outwardly. Yeah, uh, they could do it. Now. Could outwardly. Is that same outward urge to be better has moved into the psychological realm? Yes. Now, do we make, can we make it clear why it does harm in the psychological realm? The harm is... Let me, let's think it out. Okay. The harm. What's the harm in accumulating psychologically? Oh, yes. It divides. No. What does it divide? The very nature of accumulation brings about a division between you and me and they and so on. Yeah, could we make that clear? Because you know, it's a crucial point. It's a, I mean, I can see one thing that suppose you accumulate in your way and I accumulate that in my way. It. And he, she, or he. Accumulates and then we try to impose a common way of accumulating, and, and which is impossible. That's complex. That, right? that never takes place. Yes, I mean they say everybody should be moral and ethical. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have accumulated psychologically as a Hindu, right? Yes. And another is accumulated as a Muslim. Yeah, there's thousands of divisions. I mean, thousands of. As you could say, in one profession or another, I've, I've, in one thousands place, of really, yeah, to live in Therefore, one place or accumulation is the na in its very nature divides people. Yeah, because each accumulates, and therefore conflict. Yeah, that each person accumulates in his particular way, right, which is different from somebody else. Right? You cannot make a common way of accumulating. Uh, can't we? Well, so let's all accumulate. But it doesn't work. You see <laughs> that because everybody already has a different uh, of course, of course. relationship, no matter what you do. So, can we say then, the inaccumulation man has sought psychological security, and that security, with its accumulation, is the factor of human division, psychologically. Yeah.